Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. You may not be sure exactly what you're looking at here, but let me focus your attention on the important piece. This right here is the Live Gamer Portable from Aver Media, and it is one of the most flexible capture and game streaming devices that I have ever encountered. <laughs> The Live Gamer Portable includes pretty much everything you need to integrate it into your existing gaming setup. So it's got an HDMI cable, a PS3 cable, a component cable, as well as a 3.5mm audio cable. It acts as a pass-through. So the setup you're looking at right now is a gaming PC, in this case represented by this notebook right here, and then a separate PC that is being used to game stream. So this is often done for the purposes of alleviating workload from the computer that's actually being used to play the games, or if you wanted to take multiple input sources and be able to mix them together and switch between them using a program such as XSplit. The Live Gamer Portable comes with three months of the paid version of XSplit and is capable of capturing 720p video up to 60 frames per second and 1080p video up to 30 frames per second. So in this case, what you're looking at is HDMI out from our PC to the Live Gamer Portable, HDMI then out of the Live Gamer Portable into this TV right here, and with the included mini USB connector, this computer right here is streaming on XSplit. Now that's all fine and good, but not everyone wants to capture them from a PC. So to prove my point about the convenience and flexibility of the Live Gamer Portable, I'm gonna show you how quickly I can swap to this console from this PC that we were recording from before. So all I have to do is go out from the console into the Live Gamer Portable. There we go. Go out from the Live Gamer Portable into our TV and you're gonna see that's gonna show up. So there's no real input lag added by the Live Gamer Portable. We validated this before with the Live Gamer HD. Then on XSplit over here, all I have to do is grab my, see normally you'd wanna run the Rec Central configuration utility, which we've shown before when we did an NCIX Tech Tips on the Live Gamer HD. It's so simple, pretty much anyone can do it. But in this case, we didn't even have to. We just refreshed the hardware and now we are capturing from a console. Now, if you don't wanna use a PC for external capture, that's another advantage the Live Gamer Portable has over the Live Gamer HD. And that is the fact that it can record to an SD card. This is actually probably one of the coolest things about it because even though it records at a lower bit rate, it means you can just take your console, this little device that sits in a carry case that is powered by USB, and you can record whatever you want, wherever you want. And oh yeah, last thing, another convenience thing that, so basically it's a Live Gamer HD, but like it fits in your pocket. It has the same dedicated built-in record button. So you just go ahead and press that top button and you are recording. I can go ahead and do this. I think that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm standing really close to this TV. This is not easy. To, N to NCIX.com for more videos like this or from your favorite retailer, NCIX.com.